April is Distracted Driving Awareness Month, and all week our Jennifer Reyna is explaining the dangers of it. Yeah, today Jen is showing us just how big of a problem this is by the numbers. When you look at the numbers surrounding distracted driving, you get a better idea of how big this problem actually is. But first, let's figure out what the term distracted driving really means. Most people think about using a cell phone and texting when the term comes up, but it goes way beyond that. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, there are actually three types of distracted driving. Visual distractions that cause you to take your eyes off of the road, think an accident, or looking in your car's GPS. Then there are manual distractions. These are things that make you take your hand off the wheel, like eating or changing the radio station. There are also cognitive distractions where your mind is somewhere else. This can include having a cell phone call, even if using a hands-free device. So how many accidents do these behaviors cause? According to TechSot, last year there were over 94,000 crashes involving distracted driving in the state. In those crashes, close to 400 were killed and over 2,700 people suffered serious injuries. Though these numbers are a decrease from the year before, far too many Texans are dying over distracted driving. Wow, a decrease. That's surprising information to know, but I didn't know about the three different types. Even your mind is somewhere else when you're driving. You know, a lot of people can be stressed out. You're not really fully focused on the roadways. Oh, it makes total sense. A lot of people call and then you, you know, you still have your hands on the wheels, but mm -hmm. you could be distracted by something they're saying, yeah. a conversation you're having, mm -hmm. you know, miss a turn and it all goes from there. Mm -hmm. All right, good information, Jen. Yeah. Thank you.